What's up, guys? Welcome back to my new channel. When thinking about high-income jobs in Australia, you probably first come up with occupations like doctors, lawyers, or financial dealers. But do you know that some jobs in Australia can pay you over one hundred thousand dollars a year with surprisingly low entry requirements? So in this video, let's take a look at these surprisingly well-paid occupations. If you like this kind of topics, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos about Australia. Job number one: Island caretaker, with average salary one hundred fifty thousand dollars. Australia is known as a big country surrounded by oceans, which means there are plenty of offshore islands that need to be looked after as tourist attractions. This kind of job is normally offered by the tourism department from the government, and the annual salary could easily pass one hundred thousand Australian dollars. The responsibilities include maintaining island facilities like the lighthouses, promoting tourism, and take care of the species on the island. Imagine that all you need to do every day is snorkeling with the turtles, walking on bright white beaches, and posting photos on your social media. No wonder people call it the best job in the world. Of course, there is a selection process for this job, and the requirements include being willing to swim, snorkel, and making friends with the locals. And most importantly, the job is open to foreigners. So if you are interested, I have put the application link in the description. Feel free to check it out. Job number two: traffic controller, with annual salary around one hundred thirty thousand Australian dollars. If you live in one of the big cities in Australia, you could easily spot them on the street. People also call them the lollipop ladies. Sorry, wrong picture. This is how they look like. The demand of traffic controller is rising over these years due to the boom of the construction industry in the cities. According to the government statistics, some traffic controller can earn as much as one hundred eighty thousand Australian dollars every year. Even though being on your feet for ten hours a day might sound a bit boring, there are still many people willing to quit their old jobs and join the lollipop workforce. And if you take a look on the streets, you will probably find out that most of them look quite happy with what they are doing. Job number three: air traffic controller. The salary is around one hundred forty thousand Australian dollars per year. It might not be very surprising that the air traffic controller is one of the high-income occupations. However, if you look at the top ten highest-paid jobs in Victoria last year. The air transport professional seems to be the only job that doesn't require a college degree to get in. It also doesn't require any previous experience in similar fields. The application of the job just need to start with an online test that looks like this. Shouldn't I have learned it in my primary school? Whatever. Even though the entire selection process is relatively tough and the work environment can be a bit stressful, who doesn't want to give it a try given such a tempting salary? Job number four: Crane and lift operators. Salary around one hundred and ten thousand Australian dollars per year. It's not a secret that the construction industry in Australia pays a lot. Among those jobs, the crane and lift operators are perhaps the most well-paid labors. According to statistics, the experienced group of people can get paid as much as one hundred forty thousand per year. There are, however, a few things you need to take care of before taking this job. You'll need to be comfortable working with heights and have exceptional coordination and mechanical aptitude. You'll also need to obtain a perform high-risk license and complete a crane operator traineeship before starting the job. Job number five: non-professional recycler with yearly earnings of one hundred thousand. I put this in the last place because it's technically not a professional job and it's not recommended to try it either. However, there are people earning up to one hundred thousand a year by going through people's recycling bins and using the collected rubbish to cash in on refund schemes. The scheme allows people to get ten cents back for every recyclable item, such as drink containers. Even though ten cents doesn't seem like much, if you make it a full-time thing, you could earn as much as two thousand dollars a week. But once again, it's not a recommended practice of becoming a bin bandit and going through other people's rubbish. And if you really want to make some money out of this, join the scheme by returning your own drink containers and help the government to save money from the millions of dollars spent on recycling litters every year. The link of the scheme is included in the description. 
Okay, so that's all about today's video. Hope you find it interesting. If you like what I shared, subscribe to find out more interesting topics about living in Australia. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video.